Hello everyone, today let's have a chat about the financial side of raising kids in Singapore. Some affluent parents are helping out with their children's home purchases, which has its pros and cons. It adds liquidity to the housing market, but there are concerns about increased inequality. A recent article by Leslie Yee explored the idea of parents using trust for tax-efficient home buying for their children under 21. However, there's a catch. When the child turns 21 and won a HDB flat, the private home needs to be sold. Now let's look at two scenarios for a young Singaporean couple with $200,000 in savings. Scenario A, the BTO route. They buy a HDB BTO four-room unit for $600,000 in a mature estate. Projected home value after 10 years, $1.24 million. Monthly loan repayments over 10 years, approximately $218,000. Wait-out period of 30 months after selling the private home applies when buying a HDB BTO or resale flat with HDB housing grants and applying for a HDB housing loan. Scenario B, private home route. They purchase a smaller resale leasehold private home in the suburbs for $1.2 million. With $250,000 from parents and a $750,000 bank loan, projected home value after 10 years, $1.78 million. Monthly loan repayment over 10 years, approximately $488,000. Assuming a 4% annual home price increase, Scenario A yields a higher profit on the purchase price, which is $643,000, compared to Scenario B, which is $576,000. Additionally, lower monthly loan repayments in Scenario A allows the couple to potentially invest more to build their funds for future investments. In conclusion, while private home prices may rise over time, Parental assistance could lead to complications and might not be the most financially optimal choice. The suggestion is to consider letting children navigate their first home purchase independently. Thanks for tuning in.